you guys it's day three we had a long day yesterday getting this trench opened up we got all the sand in it we're going to be smoothing that out this morning before we get our cables put in and then uh, a little bit more sand and then get all this back filled and, uh, over here we've got all of our new rf cable communication cable power and ground already pulled up through this conduit All right, now we're running our quarter inch Heliax cable. This is one of four. Uh, one of the important things you want to remember while you're running this cable, if you're inside the trench, is to not step on any of the RF cabling uh, so you don't crush it, damage it, anything like that. We've got all of our cable in the trough. Our power is all the way to the left, calm down the middle, and all the RF cables to the right. We'll be putting the number six ground wire over the top after we get that last little bit of sand over the top of this. Okay, we brought our RF cable all the way up to the conduit. We've got AC power on the first one here. Two half inch Heliax cables. The comm cable here. Two more half inch on the right and all four quarter inch on the right. Okay, we just finished putting in all of our sand. Uh, we flattened it out, made it pretty smooth. Now we're gonna uh, pull our number six ground wire over the top of all of that. That ground wire pretty much serves as a lightning suppression ground more than anything. Okay, we put the ground wire through all these clamps before we turn it back around and go in the pipe. And then up here in the trough, uh, the ground comes out, ties in up there to those clamps, and then we tie it to this, this ground clamp there. Okay, we're back in the DU box and we're on the distribution unit side and you can see we've got power so everything's wired up there uh, with the with the ob light and then of course the convenience outlets are now going to work and all of our half inch all of our half inch, uh, half inch RF cables are now terminated for the uh, course CSB and SBO and clearance CSB and SBO and then these are the factory made pigtails so when we end up doing the phasing we'll only be cutting these quarter inch pigtails that are connected to the half inches okay while we're working on getting all of our buried feed cables terminated with connectors we're gonna move on to antenna visoir testing we're also gonna look at the antenna phase loop and amplitude and then we're gonna do an ohms test on the antenna with the ohm meter 
For the ohmmeter check, we're just going to use our test leads and go pin to pin looking for 2,000 ohms, and then pin to shield looking for uh, 2 mega ohms or greater. And that's just going to be from like a pin to shield or pin to ground. So 2,007 uh, ohms. And for the monitor port, it's open. And the antenna port is open. So the ohmmeter test is a pass on seven left, and we're gonna do that with all the antennas. But Nick? Okay, using our Field Fox Vector Voltmeter, we're just gonna put a dummy load on the monitor out port, and then our Field Fox Vector Voltmeter is gonna be connected uh, using a reflective type measurement, S11, to the antenna input port. Okay, for antenna seven left, We've measured a negative 38 dB. I'm not concerned with the phase on this measurement. So that's a good antenna. We're looking for negative 20.85 or better. So negative 38 is better than negative 20.85. All right, now for the antenna phase loop and amplitude check, we've got our vector voltmeter switched over to S21. Using two test cables, we bulleted them together and we took a zero reference. And then we're gonna unhook the bullet. And port one is gonna go to the antenna. Port two is gonna go to the monitor out. And we're just going to get a phase and amplitude reading off the vector voltmeter and record that in our baseline forms. And for our antenna phase loop and amplitude, we were reading a negative 15.1 and a negative 55 degrees. That negative 15 dB is the internal uh, monitor coupling loss, and every antenna should be around negative 15 uh, in the phase we are looking for no more than 15 degrees error spread across the array between every antenna and uh, this is all just recorded in our baseline record form and we're going to do this for each antenna okay now we're ready to do initial cable lengths and the whole purpose of initial cable lengths is to uh, cut the all the left side antennas down to the shortest cable what this does is it helps minimize the phase error across the array. It also puts the initial null in the near field, always on the 90 side. We're going to use our, our key site vector voltmeter. Uh, port 1 is going to go into the course SBO port. And port 2 is going to be utilizing a 60-foot test cable that we're going to string out uh, all along the array here. But first off, we're going to connect it to 7 left. We're going to take a reference on that for phase. And then we're going to go ahead and move to each antenna and see what the shortest cable is. Okay, for two left, we've got a negative 0 0.5. One left is a positive 2.7. That's the shortest one so far. I think so. Yeah. Now that came in as the, the most, or as the shortest cable. And one right's a negative 163.8. Holy cow, that's pretty short. Got it? Yeah. Two right, negative 175.7. Got it. 